Hello everyone. What I'm about to show you will and should scare you. And I'm making this video in an effort to bring it to Microsoft's attention, which I'm sure they already know about it, that they have a huge security hole in the .NET framework. And this is totally unacceptable that they've got to remove this functionality from the framework once and for all because this has been going on for years um, first of all before I demonstrate what the problem is I want to show that I'm running uh, Microsoft Defender I'm also running Malwarebytes and I'm running uh, Hitman Pro and none of those three are catching the problem with uh, stealing personal information. So let me see if I can demonstrate this to you. I currently have a browser open and I'm at a login for Yahoo. Yahoo has nothing to do with this problem. It's just you can go to any login. Um, but before I demonstrate the problem with the browsers, let me just run Microsoft Word to show you how far stretched, how far spread this problem is. Okay, here's Microsoft Word, and here's some software that I downloaded from the internet that utilizes the Microsoft.NET framework. And in here, I can capture anything going on in any application running in Windows at any time mouse moves, mouse clicks, mouse wheel movement, um, key presses, and so forth. So I'm going to turn on the key press on this. Uh, by the way, I changed the title on this application to say the bad guy in an effort to prevent somebody else from downloading this and, and causing mischief. Um, okay, now that that's turned on, let me come over to Microsoft Word and just start. Let me type in hello. As you can see, every keystroke was captured right here. Well, pretty scary, huh? Okay, let me go to this browser. And let me log into to Yahoo. I'm going to use a fictitious login, so uh, how about test.user? There it is. It now has my username. If I click Next, Password fields are masked, but it doesn't do any good with this program. This is my password. There it is. Now it's got my password. Now with an application similar to this, um, this hidden from view that could potentially be installed on your local machine via clicking a link in a browser to a malicious website or something like that. It could install uh, something that's hidden from your view. And instead of putting your username and password and all everything you type in a text box like this, it could send that information to a hacker's server and store it in a database. So this is some scary, scary stuff. And I find it totally unacceptable that Microsoft allows this to happen. Now, what happens in when a programmer writes an application, um, regardless of what it does, their particular application has events in it, and one of those events is key press. Now, there's probably not too much wrong with a single application catching its own keystrokes. But when you have something like this that can take any application that's running under Windows and capture its keystrokes, that is some really serious stuff. Um, and if you're thinking something like uh, the AE AES uh, keyboard encryption, that's, uh, according to my research, I could be wrong, that only works with uh, wireless keyboards and uh the standard was created back in 1999, but 
the way I understand that to work is from the keyboard itself, there's an encryption done inside the keyboard. And then on the computer, it decrypts it. So it's already been decrypted by the time it gets to the computer, and you'll still have the same problem. So uh, I don't know enough about AES to say for sure, but that's the impression I get given the little bit that I've read about it. Anyway, I believe that in order to make Microsoft respond to this and remove the global functionality, uh, the global function inside the .NET Framework library, remove the ability to capture keystrokes across all applications. You can go ahead and keep the ones, you have to keep the ones for the uh, individual applications, but they need to fix this problem and if enough people complain to Microsoft about it, maybe something will get done because this is totally ridiculous. Thanks for watching.